So in many videos, I'm always talking about how my brain is small and I'm not that smart. <laughs> so today, we're gonna try and make this brain sweat, stretch it, and mold it to make it smarter. 13 hard questions and riddles to make your brain sweat. From a channel called 7 Second Riddles. Yes. This is my vibe. Are they statues? Are they ladies? This is what we're doing to our brain. <laughs> Glenn was walking in the woods one day. Okay, Glenn. And he came across a cave. Oh, what's Glenn gonna do? Ooh, that looks so interesting. <laughs> he it does look interesting. He decided to enter the cave and see what it was. Be careful, Glenn. Glenn was wandering around the cave, minding his own business, when suddenly he tripped. Oh no, he- <laughs> Glenn, Glenn, buddy, I, I know it says you tripped, but I'm not seeing no trip in here. What is this? He lost balance and oh, fell no. into the water Glenn! flow. Glenn! The flow carried Glenn off. In a minute, he fell oh, down geez, into Glenn a is deep in trouble. underground river. The force of the waterfall. This is supposed to be seven seconds. This has definitely gone on for about 40. Is Glenn going to survive? Created a reversed current so Glenn couldn't swim out of it. Oh, no! He's getting exhausted. And oh, no. might drown soon. I actually feel stressed. He might drown soon? I wasn't expecting this level of extremism to the riddles. My heart is actually palpitating. I'm worried for Glenn's life. What should he do to survive? Oh, now I have to choose. Okay, guys, option one. Collect all his force and swim out of the current. Okay. Two. Dive down as deep as possible. I don't or feel three, that's a good thing. He should swim to the side and climb up the wall. What should he do to survive? Here's the seven seconds. I'm cheating. I'm pausing it. This is my first riddle, so this is the only one I'm going to pause. What should he do? Glenn's in big trouble. What would I do? I'd probably just give up. <laughs> I think C. I'm going C. C, Glenn. Swim to the rocks. Is he going to die? What's going to happen? Have okay, I killed so Glenn? Here, no. The current will pull exactly. Glenn's body backward. The current no! will be less strong there. He's already exhausted and he won't be able to reach the wall. Why oh, didn't I think of this? The force of the current is less when you go down. Glenn should swim forward when he's underwater and get away from the waterfall as far as possible. I love this narration. It's fantastic. We killed Glenn. If we were Glenn, we'd be dead. Next riddle. Can you spot the killer? Okay. Boom. I'm sorry, what? Oh! Someone killed this man. He's there one minute. Boom. Dead the next. Boom. <laughs> Look at the guy on the right. Oh, no. I How can't. How did he die? I can't. I can't pause it. Can you find Who the killer? Was it? I need to look for a weapon. It, it, there it is. <laughs> First one's pretty easy, guys. It's the woman in the middle. <laughs> Bullet wound and gun in the popcorn. Yeah. All right. Next riddle, please. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Oh, you can see it. It's literally right there. Boom. Boom. <laughs> well, that one was pretty easy. Thank you for being nice to me. Okay, look at these dancers. I dancing, see dancing. I see them. Uh oh. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't be laughing as much as I am right now. Um, they're they're cartoon characters. This is hypothetical, and the narration is cracking me up. Okay. <laughs> okay, who was one it? One of them is dead. I'm looking for a one another concealed Can you weapon. Spot the killer. Oh, actually, pink. It's pink. It's missing from her ankle. She did it. If you're gonna I do something like that, don't make blue. it so obvious. Gun in the popcorn that's just hanging out, and the exact same color of the outfit you're wearing. She's these been strangled. these killers are amateurs. Straight and amateurs. This girl's missing her hair bow. Okay, uh, never mind. Never mind. Um, I got it wrong. <laughs> I feel like I've been clickbaited here. Look, look right here. She's missing her pink thing right here. I don't even know what it's called. Her ankle tie, her shoelace. Have yeah, dancing, definitely went missing. Dancing. Man! So I've killed Glenn by giving him terrible advice when he got trapped in a cave. And I've also arrested the wrong person for murder. This is not good. All right, in the lab, Ooh. someone's gonna die for sure. <laughs> this guy is cracking me up. I can't stop laughing. Someone's going to die for sure. Who's gonna die? Oh, poor guy. <laughs> All right, guys, can you spot the killer? There's Burns. Green? Is it the guy with the tats? He's holding a green splodge and he's got a green how ring. Did he die? I and think then, it's green. Let's see who's the culprit. It's gonna be the guy with the green test tube. I'm calling idea. it. Looks like he's burnt. He's burnt. And this guy has some burning hot liquid. No! I'm bad at this. 
really bad at this. Did you get that? These are actually hard. These are making my brain sweat. I can feel it. It's really soggy in there. Who will survive? Someone in gummy bears or someone in marshmallows. Girl trapped in a huge box of gummy bears? <laughs> mm, yummy. <laughs> Who would survive? Who can what eat the quickest? Girl. She's trapped in marshmallows. I feel like, I don't know, I think they're both dead. <laughs> they're both gonna die. Uh, the gummy bears are gonna survive because there's more gaps. I don't so know. Guys, they're both pretty difficult to escape from. But yeah. the gummy bears, they're hard. So it'll be easier to crawl out of the box. I got it right. I only sent two of the wrong people to prison so far. That's not bad. If I was a policeman, that would be a terrible record, but <laughs> next. Oh, there's no narration on this. Jacob lived in a quiet neighborhood once he was jogging early in the morning and came upon the book. Oh gosh, <laughs> why is this so dark? He came across the body of a young girl. <laughs> Her name was Chloe. <laughs> How did he know that, actually? He immediately called the police. Good job, buddy. The police came and quickly found out that she was killed last night. Someone poisoned Chloe and threw her into the river. Maybe she just ate that mushroom. Mushrooms, wild mushrooms are mostly poisonous. Maybe she, that just happened. How do they know all this information? The police officer interrogated her neighbors. I broke up with my boyfriend a week ago. And no one asked you. <laughs> We're talking about the death of Chloe here. What's wrong with, why are you talking about this? I haven't talked to anyone up to now. Okay. I guess that's a good alibi. Kevin, I stepped to my parents yesterday. Wait, wait a second. What are, you, what are you just about to say? I've just come home. Oh yeah, Kevin. Why is there an empty glass here? You make me feel suspicious, Kevin. Very suspicious. Oh, and Jacob, my wife's parents came to our town. We had a family dinner yesterday. Okay, that's a lot of alibis, actually. The officer immediately realized that one of the suspects lied. This is a talented officer. I couldn't even tell when all of the evidence was in front of me who killed who. But this officer has an inbuilt lie detector. I think she might be a robot. Who is it gonna be, though? I think it's the middle guy. I think, yeah, definitely the guy on the left. I'm saying guy on the left, I can't even remember his name, but he's very suspicious with the wine glasses in the background. That's my theory. Yes! He was so with Chloe and- Actually, this is kind of dark. I noticed it though! Can I join the police force again now? Okay, let's do something a little bit more light-hearted now. This, was, <laughs> this is pretty intense. Why is Lisa angry? Who's Lisa? Obviously, she's the angry one. Hmm, why could she possibly be angry? Is it because this girl with love heart eyes is pouring water into her waist? Who is a robot? Now, this is more like it. Who's got a robotic hand? Robotic feet, eyes. Hold up. That looks like a dodgy thumb to me. Who could it possibly be? Everyone looks fairly normal. No one's got lights coming out of their eyes. Could it be the waiter? Oh, it's him! <laughs> the little glowing dot! That's a dead giveaway. You should have worn a hat, sir, if you were trying to be undercover. It's the guy in the red t-shirt. It must be. He's got a flashing light on his head. He should have copied the guy sitting opposite him and wore a hat. There he is. <laughs> Who is a robot? Oh, oh, wait. There's a kid robot. This one's quick. The one on the bottom right. She's typing way too fast. Look at her hands. Oh, man. This is actually... Very difficult. Robot, robot. It's you with the flashing eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness, that one's fairly obvious. Oh, there's so many robots. Is it the pigeon? Is it the dog? It is the dog. There's a dog right there. And it's got, it's literally plugged into, both of them are robots. Robot dog, robot woman. There she is. Plugged into a hybrid dog. It's not even gonna tell us the answer. That's mean. I'm pretty sure it was her though. Allison is a well-known florist. Is she gonna die? <laughs> Please don't kill Allison. She looks so kind. Yesterday, oh, <laughs> no! What did I just say? Allison, no! This is heartbreaking. Allison was the heart and soul of the floristry business. With two flowers in her hand. Mysterious. She was looking for a pen. <laughs> I can't with this. It's so like, I don't know. I don't even know what the word is. It's hilarious though. To put down the killer's neck. Oh, okay. Maybe it's less funny now. Maybe I should wait before I laugh. Allison had three competitors who could be in on it. Oh, Amanda Green, Robert Wolf, and Olivia Wooden. Who is suspic- Wait, what? Um, how can we tell from this? I have no idea who drinks the most water. It was Robert! It was Amanda Green. I'm terrible at these. How could you even tell that, Amanda? 
Allison took the blue, oh, blue and yellow flowers. Is that what the tops they were wearing? When mixed, these colors turned green. That was deep. There's no way anyone got that. You could also make the conclusion that her, her apron was green. So that's how she knew who the killer was. Outrageous. Okay, last one. Can you spot the monster? We could have a kettle monster on our hands, guys. I literally can't see it. I have no idea. The tea towel. Oh, I saw it. It's on the left. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Watch out, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for this one. I've watched Monsters, Inc. 74 times. That soccer ball is extremely suspicious. It's under the bottom left. Watch out. Kiddos, please watch. Oh, no. She's gone. Oh, you guys are both so dead. <laughs> creepy. I don't like it. Oh, he's working in a haunted place. Mummies are literally wrapped up dead bodies. So you're in trouble. It's got to be the mummy, right? Ooh. I actually did, I didn't see it at all. This guy is done for. I can't warn him about the consequences and where the monsters are. But there it is. You're dead, bro. Oh, why is everyone getting ready? In a, Is that a time bomb? Why does she have a time bomb on her shelf? Oh, is that the monster? Is the cat the monster? If so, that's incredibly obvious. Wait, there wasn't even a monster there. The jacket's swaying a little bit. Oh, I literally don't see any. It's just the cat. Did anyone figure this out? Her reflection was smiling when looking at the cat. Okay, keep an eye on her reflection. She's her own monster. Ready? Oh yeah, it was for like two seconds. How did I miss that? Oh, that's, that was creepy. There it is. Oh, it's our reflection. The cat was just... I'm sorry for blaming you, cat. Sorry. Whew. My brain does feel like it has been stretched, molded, and sweating. How does your brain feel? Does it feel good? I like these. These are really cool. And they're pretty fun to do as well. So if you enjoyed these and would like to see some more videos on different riddles, because there are literally thousands of videos on this channel of loads of different scenarios and I think they're really fun. So if you enjoyed this and would like to see some more, please leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button down below, the little red button, to join the fam today for videos every single day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Look out for the monsters. They could be literally anywhere. Bye. Wagon, candle, canvas, sofa, fork, rubber band.